Larry Ann here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. Today I am making the fourth and final soap inspired by family movies that I love. Today's soap is inspired by How the Grinch Stole Christmas, one of my most favorite movies ever. I think it's like number two on my most favorite movies. Number one probably being Ferris Bueller. Mm -hmm. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yep. Anyway, this soap is inspired specifically by a scene from Whoville. Love this scene. So I am going to try to replicate this scene in soap. So I already have my soap all mixed up with the clay, the oils, all that good stuff. I put color stabilizer into the fragrance oil. The fragrance oil that I'm using is peppermint. I've never used it before, so I do not know how it's going to act. So I'm going to add the fragrance oil to each color separately at different times because I am adding a bunch of embeds and I don't want it to accelerate on me while I'm trying to add embeds. And speaking of embeds, I made some Who silhouettes. I just rolled out soap dough snakes and then flattened them a bit. Hopefully they look like silhouettes of Who's. I also have some little houses, a tree, and a star. Here's how I made them. Now to add the 50,000 embeds. Just kidding, it's not that many, but mm, kind of is. I mentioned it in the last video I made. This, this soap took hours to make. I don't know if peppermint oil slows down the thickening of the soap. I thought it would accelerate it, but it, it's almost like it did the opposite. It made it more liquidy and it took forever to get to the consistency that I needed it to be at because I didn't want all the embeds to sink to the bottom. I don't know, we'll see what happens.
hours later. I finally added the fragrance oil to the red and the blue soap. Now I want to make the red swag or ribbon or whatever it's called that's in the scene with the blue and the red. So I had to wait for that to thicken up a little bit. And I'm using the back of a measuring spoon to make that swagged look, that kind of um, dipped look. Yeah, it's fabulous at describing things. Just fabulous. You know what I just realized? I realized that this soap has turned me into a Grinch. <laughs> and I'm repeating that scooped swag look on the other side. Let's do it one more time with the red. Welcome embed embed tray. I have some very pretty snowflakes and with all that's going on inside the soap, I don't need that much going on on top. And speaking of not that much going on on top, here comes the beginning of the end. So I decided to put the fragrance oil into the piping soap, which is something I never do, so I don't know why I did it this time. The pink and the white had two different consistencies. The white thickened up way quicker than the pink, but I obviously needed the pink before the white. And then I was like, well, how can I make this look better? This I ran out of soap. It was just a complete mess. I don't like the way the top of the soap came out. I'm like, let's put some snow and more snow and snow and snow and more snow and more, 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 more snow, snow, snow. I'm like what, what, what? Tina, bring me the axe. Tina. Bring me the axe. And now to gently place the beautiful snowflakes on the top to try to resemble the sign to Whoville. And then add a little bit more snow. It's time for the mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot. <laughs> I hope you guys know that I'm just messing around. I mean, yeah, it did give me a hard time, but hey, I'm just having fun here. I hope you are too. Three days later, let's take a look at this soap. You know, I absolutely love the inside of the soap. If only I could have gotten the top of the soap the way I wanted it, but I do love the inside. That came out far better than what I was expecting. So I'm happy with the inside. I hate the top of the soap. There were two things, maybe three. One, I didn't have enough of the pink soap. I don't know why I made a smaller batch than I normally would have, but I did. Then I added fragrance oil, and then I probably should have waited to add the fragrance oil to the white a little bit after adding it to the pink. I, I don't know. Overall, I like the soap. Even if I don't like the top of the soap so much, I had a lot of fun making the last four soaps. The next two soaps that I'm going to make are your more traditional holiday type soaps. If you follow me on Instagram at Pink Dahlia Soaps, you may have seen pictures that I've posted already on the next two soaps that I'm making. Until then, thank you everyone so very much for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below. And I can't wait to see you next time. Have a wonderful day, beautiful evening. Take care. Bye-bye.